And we continue our look back 20 years ago when the Pentagon was attacked on 9-11. Firefighters from around our region responded to the call. Among them, four rookie firefighters from Arlington County Fire and EMS. This would be the largest call of their lives, coming at the start of their careers. News 4's Megan McGrath has their story. There's not a time we don't meet with folks. Members of the same graduating recruit class, they share a special bond. On 9-11, Josh Runyon, Justin Scott, Ryan Leishner, and Julie Burgess were all rookies with the Arlington County Fire Department. The attack on the Pentagon, their first major call, a call they will never forget. We're coming down to the ramp to the parking lot of the Pentagon now. Large plumes of uh, thick black and gray smoke, um, and that, that plume of smoke, as we got closer, just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. As we were driving up, I mean, we're literally dodging pieces of uh, the Pentagon and parts of the plane. Be advised, there's floor collapse, structural integrity compromised. There's no semblance of a building, of like any offices, rooms, hallways. It was essentially just looked like a big, wide open warehouse because. Everything was gone. You know, the, the pillars were disintegrated. The, um, the rooms were gone. The work was dangerous and difficult. You couldn't see anything. You're feeling for people trying to find a room that, you know, maybe you can rescue somebody, but there was nothing. I mean, it was, it was just thick, dark smoke and, and heat and fire everywhere. Sentinel units, reference to crash in New York. Planes were 20 minutes apart. We are now 16 minutes into this incident. There was a couple times where they said other planes were coming in, um, so we ended up, they would try to evacuate us, so they just told us to run. I remember running towards the highway there, and you know, they just run as far as we could. We had to jump the guardrail. Josh Runyon was off duty, but reported to work as soon as he heard what happened. He was assigned to a stripped down reserve engine and ran calls for the rest of the county that day. My captain at the time said, um, go find every, tool you can find and throw it on this fire engine. So I started raiding the warehouse and just trying to get axes and, and hoses, anything we could find. Runyon joined his colleagues at the Pentagon on the 12th. In the days that followed, the four newly minted rookies gained a lifetime of experience. Lessons that stayed with them as they rose through the ranks over the years, the department adapting to the new realities of a post 9-11 world. So we've definitely upped things that we do nowadays, you know, 20 years later even, to how we run certain calls or the, you know, things we have available for certain call types because we know that that could possibly happen here because it did. I think the department did grow. I think the, you know, with resources and it just opened our eyes. I think the whole world changed. The whole America certainly changed. Megan McGrath, News 4. Now seasoned firefighters. The four have remained friends over the years. As you just saw, they say it's hard to believe 20 years have passed. That's what we're all saying. 20 years since that fateful, awful day.